Today on RUTV, physics classes show us what they've been up to. Also, we get to hear from our principal, Mr. Breedy, and then find the best matcha spot around town. So stick around, because it all starts right now on RUTV. Today is December 9th. I'm Charlotte Reese. And I'm Elijah Hughes. Recently, physics students constructed catapults for a project. Let's catapult into behind the scenes of how these were made. Hi, I'm Miss Leedis. I teach physics, and this year, uh, the first philosophy class on campus. Ah, so welcome to our third, I'm going to say, mostly annual, minus our COVID years, um, catapult project. And so as part of our unit on projectile motion, students make catapults. And so this is one of, usually I try to do four projects throughout the year, so this is our first one. Really, physics is about the world around you, and so you'll definitely be able to understand what you see um, every day uh, better. But also, it's kind of fun and hands-on and you know logical, so we use math to describe how the world works, so we use math as a tool. Hi, my name is Kevin. I am Jackson, and this is our catapult project. Uh, it took like a four days, I think. Okay, we spent working on it four separate days, but in total, that was like over a week long. Uh, we went to Home Depot and bought PVC pipe because that's where you get PVC pipe. If you did not know, that is where you can get PVC pipe. Not sponsored by Home Depot. It went pretty far, too far actually, and we missed our goal. But we got the height right, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, let's launch over to Adam and Megan with sports. Welcome back to RUTV Sports. I'm Adam Melharduzzi. And I'm Megan Dang. Girls basketball fell to a record of 1-4 last Friday with a six-point loss to Windward High at home. They continue their non-league matches next week on Tuesday the 13th when they'll go up against Linwood High School, 7 p.m. at home. Come show your support, Seahawks. Boys soccer tied North Torrance at two apiece to start off the week Monday afternoon at home. The following day on Tuesday, they lost to Luzinger High School by one point with a score of 2-1 to one again at home, falling to 0-3-1 on the season. Our boys have another matchup tonight at 7 p.m. against close town rival West Torrance. They look to secure their very first win of the season. Boys basketball took home a great win against Washington Prep last Friday with a final score of 58 to 46. Senior Aiden Kwan had a great game, putting up 16 points, including four threes and five steals. They took their first loss against Taft on Monday with a final score of 50 to 65, but are looking to bounce back in the Beverly Hills Holiday Classic. Good luck, Seahawks. Last week on Thursday, surf took part of the Kickoff Classic. Ten of our 13 surfers advanced to the next round. Congratulations to Nolan Holscher and Ty Safon, who both finished first in the men's shortboard competition. Good luck on round two. That concludes our UTV Sports for this week. Good luck to all of our athletes competing this weekend, and go, go Seahawks! Seahawks. Stepping away from the slam dunks and saves of games, what do you say we take a break, Eli? You know, it's not quite as good as winter break, but I guess a breedy break will have to do. Hello, Anthony Breedy, proud Redonna Union High School principal. Welcome to my office, a uh, corner of my office anyway. Um, just wanted to first give a fantastic shout out to all of our Seahawks um, by having the number one student fan section in LA County. Well done Seahawks. Let's keep it up for our winter sports. Shout out to all the athletes that are starting in this winter season. Before I move on to some other subjects, there are a few things just to remember as we come to the semester's close. We have a few weeks left of the first semester. And the first thing that I want to just kind of go back to is 
um, what I started with at the beginning of the year when I visited a lot of classrooms, hopefully as many as I could, and you guys have all heard the message. Some of you five, six, seven, eight, nine times. I asked for three things, and that was take care of yourselves, was take care of each other, and take care of our campus. That still speaks volumes to who we are as Seahawks. I'm gonna add a fourth one today, and some of you have heard the fourth one, and that is taking ownership. As we close the first semester, we have to take ownership of our efforts up to this point, knowing that there's a few weeks left to study, to get in those assignments, to work together, to collaborate with our teachers, and sometimes with our peers to get that grade that you deserve and that you want, right? So again, take care of yourself, take care of each other, take care of our campus, and own it. So with that, have a great holiday season, be safe, make great decisions, and we'll see you back on January 3rd. Thank you, Seahawks. It's so nice to hear from our very proud principal, Mr. Brady. Don't know what's happening this month? Ava has the update for you. Hey guys, I'm Ava Smansky, and welcome back to Monthly Update. This month will be pretty laid back. Starting on Monday, we have Spirit Week, so make sure to dress up for the whole week. There's a band concert on the 13th and Frosty Festival on the 14th. The juniors are selling fuzzy sock grams all the way up until Thursday of next week, so buy those. <laughs> and the following week is winter break from December 19th until January 2nd, so enjoy your time off. And that's all for monthly update this month. I'll see you guys next month, and back to you guys. Appreciate the update, Ava. Now, Chloe, Laurel, and Elisa are gonna take us around town to figure out the best matcha in Redondo. Hi, I'm Elisa. I'm Chloe. And I'm Laurel. And today we're gonna be rating iced matcha lattes. We're gonna be rating it on color, taste, and cost. And we're gonna go to three shops in Redondo Beach. Let's go! Oh, you're filming? Yeah, I am. <laughs> so right now we're at the Boy and the Bear. I feel like it's too much milk. You wanna try? It tastes like almond milk when we got whole milk. It really just tastes like milk. There's not much matcha in here, even though it's like pretty green. It tastes good, but it doesn't taste like matcha. Yay! Golden hour. <laughs> it's growing on me. Meanwhile, it actually looks like vomit. This is not a slander for the boy and the bear. Now we're at Hi-Fi. This one is better than Boy and the Bear, but it's pretty sweet. We did add one pump of vanilla syrup, but this syrup is a lot stronger than the other one, but I do like it. Okay, this one's a lot better. It is sweeter, but I think that the sweetness is like better. <laughs> Some ASMR. This one is a lot better. I think the sweetness is actually perfect. I like it. It was at this moment. I feel like this one has too much powder in it, or it's just not mixed enough. This just doesn't taste like matcha to me. It tastes very watered down. I don't get a lot of matcha here. So I wouldn't say this is probably a proper main matcha. Link Crew is hosting a gingerbread house building competition on December 15th. Freshmen in groups of three to five can participate. Sign up using this QR code or go to www.ruhslc.com to sign up for this fun celebration. That seems like a great competition, but we have another contest option if gingerbreads aren't quite your calling. Any and all writers are encouraged to showcase your talents in the It's My Right Essay and Poetry Contest. Check your student email for more information. 
But submissions are due before 3 p.m. on December 16th, so you make sure you get those in. Seniors, listen up. If your parents plan to create a senior ad for you in the back of the yearbook, then the deadline is February 28th. It may seem like a long way away, but get it done soon as prices for this will increase on February 1st. Looking a little closer in the future, next week is Spirit Week. ASB is a whole week of winter fun planned for us. Be sure to check out all of our socials, including the RETV TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm Charlotte Reese. And I'm Elijah Hughes. We hope you all have an amazing weekend. And remember, keep, keep on soaring, Seahawks! Seahawks.